What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Stellaris. Um, last time we played, we had a pretty small little empire. I'm um, just getting started and stuff and going through the, through the motions. But uh, so we got some interesting products to research and a bunch of anomalies to research as well. As you've seen, we have uh, expanded our borders a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. We're just we're going to try to stay like within a certain amount of star systems because I kind of want to see what else is out there. I mean, we got 2,500 stars to deal with. We don't know what all, is, what all is there. What the fuck is that? We don't know what all is there or what uh, what is awaiting us in the void. So we're going to... We're going to see this all the way over here. What the fuck? That's weird. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to see where it takes us. So let's get started. Um, have been doing some more... Some more grinding in, in in my free time. I'm not trying to like progress too fast, but I also know that sometimes sitting and watching for an hour of me just clicking and doing random bullshit can be kind of boring. So, I figured this would be better. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, Generation Zero on Monday. It was pretty fun to record it. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, playing it. Well, not playing it, uh, watching me and. Me and my friends go kind of ape shit as usual. Hmm, got two. Oh, there's my factory ship. Okay, that's where it was. So we have a thing called a factory ship. Um, and what they are, basically, they are mobile production platforms that help us uh, produce more items, I guess you could say. And as of right now, we have one that produces... Uh, research that one. I believe they uh, produce... Um, let me check my ships. The, Kopec, the Zopec class produces all energy credits. I'm going to grab one that will help me produce... Uh, either all minerals or all uh, all food in a little bit. Okay, got that one done. Also been working on uh, on my ships and stuff. Oh, my defense platforms, because I'm kind of like trying to lock off my area. I thought about going over here, but I feel like that's kind of a bit much, maybe? I don't know. I'm, un I'm unsure. I may actually just do I may just go over here and then block off this one and remove the Pluscat's Moss Station. But I'll, I'll keep this one here, because there's like a 4K enemy fleet down there for some reason. Ooh, we can actually reform our government. Let's do that. So as of current, we got the Feudal Society. Let's pause. Okay, so we got the Feudal Society with the reanimators. Reanimation is actually pretty good. You can actually reanimate giant corpses depending on like what the mission is or what the storyline is. Um, so that's always fun. Uh, but you also have undead defense and undead attack armies. Right now we have two of them. One is, I believe there's like, uh, oh, so one's the the first. Divine Blade and the 12th Red Hammer, which sounds fucking baller as shit. But we're gonna look for. A, should we go Warrior Culture? Duels turn allies into unity, amenities, and naval capacity. Um, we can make it so that we're only pleasure seekers. That'd be great, right? Ooh, artisans are replaced with artificers. Artificers produce seven consumer goods and two trade value for every industrial every three industrial districts, and grant one one building slot except on habitats. So that's actually like not bad. Uh, diplomatic core. You no, know let's do uh, master crafters. Let's do that one. Reform. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. 
uh, got System Capital Complex, which we will upgrade our current thing to, and then we will also grab the Fortress. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So, what we'll do for this one is we'll do... Blast Furnace actually might be good. The Embassy Complex also might be good too. Embassy Complex might be good if we're going to be dealing with other other races. I got three slots though. I, I can kind of pick and choose. Yeah, so I also have a Reactor Mega Complex, which gives me 38 fucking energy credits, which is awesome. This stuff is always cool. I love this shit. I don't know why modding the hell out of my games is always fun to me, but it is. I know I've talked a lot in the last five minutes and I'm probably going to go quiet for the rest of this fucking recording and I apologize about that. There we go. Got those ones going. Nice. Uh, cruisers. We got cruisers now. Nice. Then we're going to go with uh, fusion missiles. So let's go to our ships really quick. Uh, we can build a cruiser, which look tiny. I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, okay. I'm gonna replace all this with ceramic metal armor. So there's no... We're going with uh, pure UNSC with this bullshit. Reactor components, reactor components. And then we will go with... Uh, crew lounge, and then... Nothing. Nice. Oh, I also found out what, uh, what mod was breaking my science ships. It was, uh, it was a formation mod that would basically make destroying my science ships. Well, not destroying them, but making them basically useless. Yeah. Oh, uh, also for ascensions, we got Grass of the Void, which increases our Sharvis capacity by plus five. And we also got, uh, We also got um, the expansion thing all the way up and industry all the way up. The only thing we haven't gotten up is prowess, which we're getting there. Now that we've actually gotten a bunch of these, it's taking more time, which is good. I was very concerned that I was going to be like, just like, just fucking slamming through this bullshit. And I'd be very upset if that was the case. Nope, that was already been. Well, let's go over here and survey system. Then we'll start serving the system here. Research anomaly in system. Built star base. Researching that anomaly. Nice. We got a mission here and I believe a different mission somewhere. I am blind though, so I may have forgotten where it was. It was somewhere up in here. There was a different one that we had to go do. Which we'll get to. Um, let's upgrade our ships currently. 629 power. I'm not trying to go for super big fleet power right now because that costs energy credits I don't want to waste. Toad asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Cormagion 2A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, though they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for, for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Interesting. Who the fuck did that? No one, because I only have two fucking things. Okay. Oh, there's two of you. Grab the factory ships also count as construction ships while also producing extra parts, which is broken as fuck, but they're also expensive as shit to buy, to build, and I think also to, uh, keep, yeah, 
It's 872. Well, 872 alley plus 220. 100 credits as base, and then the upkeep, I believe, is also pretty fucking ballsy. Ooh, Robalias. We have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Robalia system. For now, we have put in them the Gimel aliens. Until we can find out more about them, if they possess a language, we should decipher it so we can assess how much of a threat they pose. There's also a colossal blip. As soon as we enter the Descon system, our sensor registered a giant blip. A large, large structure has kept an orbit over a gas giant. This warrants further investigation. Giant old factory. A giant old factory was found inside the lava citadel and luckily appears to, to still be functioning and ready to be activated. The facility is exceptionally well designed and can sustain the mass production of almost any sort of material or item at stunning speeds. The research team said that the best approach would be to study it from orbit with a research station to investigate how these engineers manage to build something so efficient. It's fucking Mustafar down there apparently. Auto build. Yay for auto build. Okay, there's a different system. What the fuck is the blip system? Am I, up, am I just dumb? Oh, yeah, okay, it's a refiner. The Ascont system. Okay, I need to. Hmm. My goal is basically to cut this off, hopefully, and just then just grab all this. That's usually what I do. Okay, unlocks new fusion missiles. Let's do hol uh, holographic cast, which will give me alloy mega forges and space foundries. And then we'll grab uh, ooh low gravity mega refiners would be good, as would mining port complexes. Fuck. So this one says a shaper at the moment, and then we'll go from there. Got a bunch of shit to fucking discover. I'm wondering if I could just... Um, oh, I can build another factory ship. No, no. Fine ship. Then we'll also, I think we'll colonize a couple planets while we're at it. Like, we'll go... Not the supercontinental world. But, like, the frozen Gaia world. Which, for some reason, is close enough to a desert that it works. And then the outback world we'll also grab, too. Build mining stations. Uh, Nanobot mining. Despite encountering the initial difficulties when landing on the surface, the scientific expedition team led by Mon In uh, managed to enter the station safely following their suit sensors. The team began to make the arduous journey into the depths of the facility towards where the unstable energy signals, signals were originating from. What they found was quite extraordinary. The original energy si signals were produced by swarms of nanobots, which, despite their age and lack of maintenance, seemed to have not forgotten their purpose. The team watched in awe as the, the nanobots, for lack of a better term, devoured seemingly useless rock and stones, digested the contents, excreted the useless material into a disposable box, and regurgitated the valuable minerals into a retrieval collection, which doesn't seem to have been emptied for some time. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with that. Can't do that one because there's a fucking 4K fleet there. God damn it! Hmm.
know which one to choose for that one. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go. Every system right there. Sweet. Also, I guess um, my empire is essentially counted as a pseudo hive mind, I guess you'd say. Like, yeah, so we are a multi hive minded, so we're not affected by happiness, which is nice. We got contact. Fuck yeah. Gimel Alien. This is a subtracted in Robali system. This, uh, the vessels detected in the Robalia systems seem to have been part of some sort of expedition across the galaxy, which, with purposes unknown, they have not made any hostile movements, nor ha is there any heavy weaponry in evidence. Instead, they seem to be broadcasting repetitive but not particularly content-filled signals in our general direction. Our envoy, Heth Unret, is confused but hopes that the broadcast will help our linguists translate their language. Interesting. Got the fortress unlocked, fuck yeah. Um Awful Trading Company would be good. Nope, not automated counterbombing. That was my bad. Going for uh, commercial zones. Fuck yeah. Eight orders on that still. Jeez. Why are so many construction ships? A study has been completed. Applied quantum physics. Construction has been completed. Go for artifact emissions, and then we'll also go up here. So we also found a relic. We found the arcane rip manipulator, which is from a mod. I forget which one though. Um we're gonna go with uh Fund Arcane Research Institute and then yeah. A galactic community. As more and more spacefaring civilizations form relationships with one another, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. To avoid tragic misunderstanding between nations, an increasing number of diplomats have called for the establishment of a new pan galactic organization. A community, if you will, where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss important matters. Fuck that. We can join later. I just don't want to right now because that that's just annoying. Last time I, I did that, I had fucking. I had so many notifications that it took literally five minutes for them just to even get down to here. That's how many I had. Fuck that. Also, I haven't even met any other empires, except for this one. I'll go back through with the ship and start uh, doing shit. Previously shrouded planet Volk appears to have un undergone dramatic change. The, pre the previously impenetrable fog has parted 
revealing a civilization of, semp uh, of sapient Stone Age level populating its surface. Uh, Ruth of the Lamed aliens. Where the fuck are they? Assuming somewhere over oh, right here. Build observation posts. I can I can raise them. I can uplift them at some point and basically make them <laughs> pretend I'm their god. It's great. Who the fuck is this? Wow. Oh, they're right there. Those are tiny. What the fuck? Am I just having a stroke or are those people act like is that empire actually small shit? Maybe it's the mod. Maybe it's just not showing me where things are properly. Um, technology. What is okay? We research engineering. We're gonna grab uh, carrier operations that way we can actually build carriers. Yawning so much. Got one more order that I can just go across. I'll probably grab this guy and throw him over here. So I can just build there and then just start researching and doing other shit. How long before you're done, dude? Actually, bring this into an Allen Mega Forge. Uh, leave be for now. Even from how horrible strange dark shapes on the surface of Robalius 5 can be seen in the hundreds of thousands. However, after only a few days in orbit, our survey crew have already noticed the shapes shifting about. Some have faded, some have appeared, and many have slightly changed position. Sounds like some Elder's Horror shit. I'm good. Precursor shield array, precursor battleground, and precursor satellite grid. Nice. Starbase right there, the other one. I build a mining outpost for more energy credits. Ooh, okay. Um so let's go with Definitely not go with any fucking path pacifist bullshit. But soldiers equals more unity for us. Despite a decision not to lend our support behind the founding of some sort of super, super, supranational galactic institution, several other empires have banded together to create just such a thing. In the historic announcement, they have declared the creation of the galactic community to the galaxy. This organization is to serve as a forum where important matters that affect the galaxy is, as a whole can be discussed. As we refuse to take, to take part in the creation of this galactic community, the Church of the Shepherd is not yet considered a member. Well, fuck them. Mainly because I haven't met any of them. They're like one, and he's all the way over here. There's like 25 other empires. Where the fuck are they?
a lot of empires. Now we're starting to encounter them. We'll throw a envoy up there. The trapped asteroid is in fact a crystalline being's nest. It is good that we didn't keep digging for it seemed that we like we agitated the creature hibernating inside. If we do nothing for a while and study it from afar, it should settle down. Interesting. We actually, ooh, we can unlock crystal infused plating early on. Fuck yes. Crystal infused plating is baller. Now that sounded really fucking stupid. That's fine. Be for now before we do that. Boom. Um, okay, off world trade companies, nice. And then we'll go with Arcane Research or Arcane Institution. Eh, no, let's not do that. Let's do. That's, that's 12,000. That's going to take a while. So let's grab the frequency tuning for energy siphons. All right. Forgotten ruins. Several ruins have been found on Escont 2A in the Escont system. Most of the ruins are buried, and the ones that aren't have eroded so much they are barely recognizable. The ruins depict various pictures and writings, most of which is, is a record of their culture. There is a common theme in each of the different depictions. Remember us. It seems this culture knew they were fading away. All, all they wanted was to be remembered, and it looked like... No one has for a million years. Sad yeah, but incredible. It's a precursor floating city. The science expedition team led by Mon Om Itek from the science vessel ISS Hazur has found something remarkable. Several self-sustaining floating cities around this world. Despite some slight damage, they appear f they appear to function well. Scattered across the surface are th the remains of other buildings and infrastructures. Whether they were precursors to the floating cities above or former ones themselves, we may never know. Then a toxic terraforming candidate. That's a lot of fucking people. Holy shit. A whole lot of archaeological sites. Jesus. Study was that. In fact, so we'll produce 0.10 artifacts. Another encounter. Um, we'll grab research complexes. I want to say. Yes, we're almost good. Okay, good. Study. Breakthrough, carry c command and control, which actually gives me a little boost here and there. And then, uh, actual carrier control. Well, carrier carry stuff. I'm having a, a, a moment. I don't know why. Now I can turn my cruisers into carriers. to a starport. I think we'll go over here to do that. Gotta fly him back to do that. Nice.
So much to that to research. Okay. As for special resources, we got 820 rare crystals, 8, 565 exotic gases, and 502 um, volatile modes. Not bad. Five more orders on that fucker. Well, six, I guess, but you know what I mean. Do -do -do. Um, so I think, where, where be, oh, oh no, head that way, don't get fucking destroyed, I'll be very upset, my fucking factory ship gets destroyed, I'll be very, very annoyed. <clears throat> so I think after this episode, what we'll focus on next is kind of consolidating our, our power, getting factory ships built, getting things researched, that kind of stuff, getting un getting anomalies done. Retreat. Four, three, two, one, retreat. Oh. Leave me for now. Okay, so he jumped in the middle of nowhere. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I think that after we, uh... After we do... After we get this stuff done. It's fucking loud. Um... Although we've been able, unable to discover how much about the mysterious vessel in Korak B system... In the Korak B system, uh... Uh... The most convincing current hypothesis based on its behavior and the patterns of the still undeciphered signals we have intercepted from it is that it belongs to a previously unknown spacefaring civilization where we are redoubling our efforts to translate their language so that communications can be established. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Exact same thing. All right. So because we got two here and here. Yeah, so I think next episode, we'll basically just do a laundry list of things. Basically, we'll go through, we'll consolidate our stuff. We'll get some grinding done. Actually, I'm going to have some grinding done. Um, we'll, like, get some of our, a bunch of our un, 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 un anomalies researched. I'll try to get some more alloy, actually, in the meantime, because I, I don't need fucking alloy. Currently earning uh, 84 uh, unity per month, which is not bad. I basically need to unlock these three, and I'll be good. And then we'll get a new thing Magma Ocean. Planet Escanta 1A, deep within the Escanta solar system, uh, seems to have a giant ocean of magma, an endless stretch of liquid molten rock deep. President scans indicate part of the course is fully exposed in this area, which explains how the magma can be so hot and liquid. 
Interesting. Uh, understanding is just the start. Thanks. This one? Okay. Oh, it's a breakthrough. Gotcha. Uh, we'll do diplomatic me methodology. Actually, no. Fuck that. We're actually we'll change that over to uh, primitive initiatives. So we can actually start working on these guys. Um, what's going on with you, Mister? I w I want to start like indoctrinating them. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm just gonna start indoctrinating them. Fuck that. Fuck it. Uh, adaptive fortifications. Expanding on the older mobile fortifications technology, researchers have devised new standardized defensive operations. Training. Training layout and equipment setups, which will bolster the overall odds of survival for our garrison without increasing cost. Nice. Um, then we're going to do deep core mining. That's good. Yeah. Wait, where's the nano, the nano mining complexes? What the fuck? Can I build those? Energy grid, exotic gas. Do, 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 do. Mining ports, which are fucking dope. Nothing. Alright, never mind. <clears throat> Might be a mod I may have to get later. Excavate here. It's doing that. Nice. Yeah, so basically, start to re expand over here. Will be good, I think. Oh, right. We should have a. We have a. We have a colonizing ship going for, the frozen guy world. Nice. Any holdings? Nope. No overlord holding, holdings and no corporate holdings. Fuck yeah. So we, we have a Marble Army, which is, is also which is a mech, a mech garrison, along with the first Divine Blade and the twelfth Dreadhammer. Can I just rename these fuckers? Can yes, I'm gonna rename them. I'm a fucking edgelord. I'm gonna go the first is Elot Fist. Nice. Since ours is very, uh, for some reason, Master of Mankind ish. I don't know why. Uh, AI support. Nice. Uh, well, we will then grab probably Hyperspace Slipstreams. <clears throat> Shredding. Our observation post over Zul Volk reports they have lost all contact with the surface beneath due to a bizarre fog that has suddenly engulfed the planet. That's unsettling. I don't like that. We'll upgrade that fucker right there. We'll grab ourselves a, another science ship. Wait, nope. Science ship. There you go. Oh shit, okay, I need to get a uh, couple... We have no shipyards over here. Fuck. Can I... Nope, I have no shipyards over here either. God damn it. If I did, it wouldn't matter. Oh! Uh, civilian convoy departed. Uh, civilian convoy started straying from Marbell. The ship will now head towards the closest colony out inside our borders and distribute sell it or sell its cargo we will preemptively buy a part of their cargo equal in value to the predicted tax profits from their enterprise interesting okay sweet that's cool uh, where's that guy um
Research projects and system. Ooh, clue surveillance. Um, our attempts to learn more about the Omega aliens, Omega aliens, have so far been in vain. While we are easily able to ascertain that they are clearly from part of our technologically advanced alien civilization, oh, from a part, from part of a form, form, clearly form part. Oh, that they clearly form part of a technologically advanced civilization. I'm having a fucking dyslexia moment, even though I don't have that. Further facts have proven elusive as they seem to be going uh, to considerable effort to prevent us and any other eavesdroppers from intercepting any signals from them. Nice. Uh, we're with the curves and run of this into our space, including not until just how much of a threat the Omega aliens pose. They, can f they sent a covert force to assemble intercept one of our cargo vessels in the Siluge D system, seeing the ship escaping into the depths of space before we could mount a rescue party. Oh, they're fucking... They're a fucking mercenary enclave, I bet. Fucking cunts. Do some point defense. This one. Listening posts, and then we'll grab the orbital defense piece. Not the orbital defense piece, you know what I'm talking about. And then the communication jammer and slipstream. Or field disruptor, because I have a feeling it's from either over here or right there. There we go. I will replace these with guns and those and then we will grab communication jammer and we'll leave the hydroponics bay because I need those Precursor expedition. The expedition team found a safe spot to set up camp. Additional equipment and personnel are being dropped off to the makeshift camp with small drop ships. The expedition is now getting ready to search for the nearby precursor ruins. Excellent. <laughs> you know Start uh, researching the anomalous system. Because I am going to start building star bases over here. Trying to scoop up as much as possible. Sorry, had to sneeze. We have more contact, yay. With who? Why are they also hostile? I have done nothing. It may be because of the fact that I'm not part of the galactic community. I'm still, I'm still not going to join because fuck that. Sounds like a lot of work. Grab a couple shipyards. I'm gonna turn you into my shipyard actually. Bridge Bay? Actually, what? Grab, grab Space Foundry. Crew Quarters. Hydroponics Bay. There you go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Oh, my factory ship's there. Nice. Captive Rogue. Uh, confirms the moon has got two B is indeed not of the system. Looks like some force propelled this moon across the galaxy from its home system. And after eons of traveling as a rogue planet, it finally captured by, by the gravity of Escot 1. Nice. Very unique.
in this ship right here. Shipyards are being built. Okay, making sure. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab. Discovery of artificial water. After spending extended time studying the remarkable features of this planet, our below our science team uh, on board the ISS Zunhet are ready to report their findings. Science officer Neki Inns uh, have reported. Uh, the science team has made several additional discoveries studying this unique planet. Newfound knowledge. Okay, cool. Um, artificial water sampler. Modifier added given the following effects, uh, plus 10% alloys from metallurgists. And additional minor discoveries from our weight team, unity gain, plus 762. Nice. I think here, though, we're going to start going hardball with our, with our stuff and trying to... Yeah, new research. Uh, ooh, communications established. Uh, Iraqi and Co Coalition. Nice. They look fucking horrifying. They are fanatic militarists and egalitarian. We consider your species a grave menace to our kind, Azanti, unless you can demonstrate that you have no threat to us. Um, Rakio. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. Still confirms that we had long suspected that we are alone in the galaxy. Um, each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular aliens have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we have achieved space flight at a roughly the same time. First contact aboard. Why? Because fuck you. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, crystal infused plating. Hey, you guys are pretty decent size. Fuck. <clears throat> we're fine though. We're fine. We're okay. We are a okay. At some point, I'm gonna start building hyper relays because that actually will be fucking useful. So hyper relays, if you don't know, are basically things that help boost the speed of your hyper lane travel, basically. Um, and they reduce the cooldown time for certain things. So the idea would be to build one here at at the tier remote and then basically build one all the way over here to Ancastar and then all the way over here to Silos D through Nietz and then all the way over to Polkor B and then all the way over to Robalius. That way we can actually basically speed up movement throughout the main lanes of the empire. That'll be later, because that is expensive as fuck. I'm gonna have some things move here though and start researching this shit. Hmm. Gonna build a couple more destroyers and see if that'll boost me enough to be able to take on these things over there. So if I can take them out, then I can start researching this shit and building another thing. Ooh, they've received an ancient relic. Interesting. Previous expedition, the expeditionary team has been sent out along a narrow path alongside the first outer ruins. This is this to hopefully avoid any surprise that may line line the main path. Interesting. All right. Oh, they traded. Oh yeah, no, they fucking lost. Grab some more alloy foundries to hopefully boost that shit. Gonna build a couple of these. Gonna grab a couple of city districts. Energy. And then 
Oh, two of those. Nice. We basically got all of it going. And essentially, the shipyards will just be there to help. Nice, 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 nice. <coughs> Who the fuck is this? Grand Faustian Con Convocation. They are spiritualist, xenophile, and egalitarian. Egalitarian. Okay, we're gonna be tired of the missions. Don't show me it again. We aim to establish an embassy on Marbell. Sure, why not? Five thousand for Silas D, and then Robalius should get up there at some point as well. Gonna remove that. Then we could drop it down to base tier. That way, it's not in the way of resources. Counter on Tiana Vec. Uh, we'll send this guy over here. My goal will basically be to grab this and then close this whole area off. We look at sectors, sector map. This is one big sector. Basically, every time you, in, like, I guess, like, you can close off an area, it counts as, as a sector, I think, or, like, a certain cluster of starlings. Uh, we'll go with Star Fortress for next one. Actually, no, 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 not that one. Very hot. Planetary core. After spending an extended time studying the remarkable features of the planet are below our science team on board the ISS as exploration are ready to report their findings uh science officer met has reported the science team has made several additional discoveries studying this unique planet interesting the research option gained volcanic creation interesting the fuck is volcanic creation uh terraforming theory Ooh, i can turn them into wood to into volcano world i think now I'll grab this one we'll grab the pd destroyer Move here. <clears throat> Essentially, I'll grab this one and then just start building around here. So we can just close off this part of the empire. It'd be cool if I could build hyperlanes. Like if, if I just like use create create new hyperlanes, I would do one up to here, up to Skant, and then I would do one from Kundas to Jamalia, and then basically just core out to like the center cluster. I think it would look good. So the only oh this is fucking well yeah fuck it mining stations can come later We're trying to expand right now survey that system. Actually, here we'll do, we'll just destroy this. Then we'll go here, we'll build a new one. Hi, Chip. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let's just take some ham. Nice. There's 14 orders right there. Holy shit.
What is that? We'll do this. Mining station. See how this looks. Oh, ancient combat drones. That's the mining station right there. Oh, so good. I should get a mod that like just like makes it look better, but I'm afraid it would keep like lagging my game out. I get bound. Nice. Oh, what do we get here? Communications established. Fuck yeah. They are also fanatic, militarist, and authoritarian. I speak on behalf of the Ibusian Star Empire. That's like a pretty fucking baller name. And I have been authorized to bring you greetings as long as you stay out of our eternal affairs and treat our great leader Emperor Azrumilki uh, uh, the first with reverence. I see no reason for a diplomatic, or diplomatic relations to sour. As fellow star explorers, we salute you. Nice. So they're over here. They're about the same, same size as us, I think. You can tell kind of like how big they are depending on, on the size of their empire's symbol. Try to build relationships with them, and then we'll just say fuck it with the other one. Okay, home territory fire rate and star base damage increase that by 20%. These dropped. Jesus, there we go. Nice. That's a good boost. 6,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Very nice, very nice. Even my base fucking star sta uh, shipyard has jumped to 2,000. Okay, so that's six orders left. I made a mistake by destroying the thing and sending it over here. Because now he's sending back up here. Because this, like, my, my original goal was to get this area done. This is fine over here. We'll get this stuff later on when we have more time. Like, we'll do it as like a side thing tomorrow, but well, not tomorrow. You know what I mean? Next video. Leave be for now. Um, <clears throat> space sparing civilization discovered. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Your research will go with uh, clearing blockers for now, since that's the easiest one to do. What I could probably do is, is I'll probably turn this into like a factory system, I guess you could say. So what I'll probably do is I'll put like a couple star bases here. I'll build them up and then I'll put like reactors on them or alloy foundries, that kind of thing, because I can put multiples on each. And that way it'll help me in the long run. <clears throat> Better understanding of the, of the planetary core. Do a more thorough excavation, because why not?
Okay. Let me just some. Bill Sarbis. New church will be a PD destroyer. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this. If you want, we're gonna grab terraforming. Cost minus ten percent. Should help us out in the long run. That way, I can actually start terraforming worlds, like a couple of the larger worlds that, while are decently sized, we can't really use them. You seem to be able to destroy those guys right there. That is the goal. Okay. You guys need to home base. Can we make them return home? There you go. <clears throat> Three percent of that. A new contact from the Republican Hesukaran colonies. They're space dwarves. Nice. They are Irida explorers. They are fanatic egalitarian. And they are materialists. Greetings from the Republican he Republican Hesukaran colonies. Chancellor Tetrana is our elected representative, but in truth, all citizens have a voice in our in our government. We strive to better ourselves through technology, a desire we hope you respect. Why not? Let's start off on a good foot. Besides these guys. Fuck these guys. They're assholes. You guys are all the way up here, too. Jesus. Sure. Let's have a uh, embassy with me. We're getting there, come on. Understatement. The team has made it into the ruins and have found it to be quite safe. Several small artifacts have, have so far been discovered along the route expedition team has taken. Tools, but also small electronic devices. A cursory analysis reveals them to be over 100,000 years old. The supplies of the team are running low, so they're returning to base camp. Nice. Nice. Incredible technological breakthrough. Okay, now we're seeing more of them. Still going on that. Holy shit. There we go.
New contact from the Molar Noct Devourers. Speak on behalf of the Molar Noct Devourers, we are a, a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens in a galaxy full of alien horrors. Our elected leader, President Sounden, warns you not to interact with our citizens or approach our space. They are egalitarian, which with fanatic xenophobe. Out of our way or we'll make you fuck off. All right, but I think we have reached a good point. Almost? Nope. Various exploration drilling science teams looking at multiple underground passages along belong to elaborate uh apparently artificial cave system of apparently artificial origin. Interesting. Into the depths. Nice. Okay. Microgravity fields. They are very hostile to me. What is their military might actually? Unknown. All right. Why is it be cautious? We're gonna move. Those guys won't add much, but they will at least add some. So we're gonna move them over to here. Five percent completion. A new contact. Uh, we speak on behalf of the two Tavoritan. Tavoritan, started an essay, and I, and I have been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our, our great leader, High Queen Samtar the First, with reference, I did to the their fanatic materials with authoritarian. Now, things are starting to come out of the workroom. I forgot there was 25 empires. We have to do this like fucking 20 more times. I do not want to do that. Fuck yeah. The only thing I haven't gotten was this one. Actually, I should do that actually at some point. Anyway. What the fuck do you want? Okay. Why not? Nice. Okay. So, we basically have gotten most of our expansion done except for down here, which we'll get there probably next video since this one took you down to almost done. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, it does help me out in the long run. We are currently on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I can't wait to see you all there. I stream every Friday from, well, not every Friday, but most Fridays from 11.30 p.m. to about 7 a.m., and I can't wait to see you there as well. Other than that, hope you guys had a good one, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good night. And now you hit my heart with the